Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry it has been so long since my last video. I have just been so busy with the house. Um, I have a garden in this house and I've been trying um, my best to keep up with maintaining that. Um, and also I was waiting for this bad boy to arrive and it arrived today. So I'll give you a quick look. So this is the chair, this nice beautiful purple velvet chair. There we go. That's just exactly what I wanted. And I was worried I might not be able to get it because I wasn't able to nominate today for delivery, which I need because I work full time. But I managed to order it um, and know that the estimated uh, delivery date would be today. Um, but I was not 100% sure if it would come today uh, because it was coming from the UK. Um, but it did it came today so i'm very very happy it is so comfortable and now i actually have a nice little spot um to talk to you instead of having to sit on this thing <laughs> so anyway let's get to it so in the last video i showed you the uh, first uh rack here of my bags so this is going to be part two and it's mostly going to be Michael Kors because this shelf is all um, my Michael Kors. So uh, I'm going to see if I can maybe do this in the chair. Oh, I can. Okay. So I have no idea, like random order. I don't keep the bags in an order. So uh, this will be just as much a surprise to me as it is to you. Oh, yes, this baby. This was the small Hamilton really hard to find edition because it came with this blue um patent leather uh design i'm just going to open the let me see if i can open the door here i might get some better light is that better yeah I might just be able to hear some background noise but let me see if i actually turn the main light off yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about these guys, uh, these bags. I'm just going to show you all um, this one. I just used when I got it for about two, three weeks straight. I absolutely love this bag for work. So comfortable, crossbody. You can also use it by the handles. Um, but I just loved the silver hardware, the patent blue leather against the grey. Absolutely gorgeous. So different. And uh, it's very, very hard to find this bag. So glad I got this one. And I am still using my guest bag that I showed you in my reveal video from probably about a month ago. Guys, that has to be probably one of my uh, best purchases in my mind. It is so comfortable to wear. I can take the strap off and immediately with the chain detail, um, I'm ready to go from day to night with ease um i just put the strap back on use it for work holds so much and the slip pockets are really handy just to put your smaller items into and then everything else can go into the middle and even though it is all in the middle it's still very easy for me to find my things and it's really hard for me to swap out of it because i'm like this is such a functional bag it looks beautiful the black and the white and uh, the chain detailing um it does look like a speedy bandolier uh it has the uh the look of a speedy and then it has the strap as well um and it has the chanel-esque with the chains on the uh handles and it's just oh it's such a game changer it really really is so i love that bag and i am still using it i really can't decide what bag to swap uh into because i'm loving it so much but um yes yeah, sorry i digress so that is the first michael kors Okay, second one, I know what this is because I know the shape of it. This is the small Mercer in the electric blue uh, leopard print design with the silver hardware. And boy, doesn't that pop. It's absolutely gorgeous. Again, this was a bit of a rare one. Uh, past season, of course, found it on eBay. Brand new. Uh, Oh, the smell of leather is just gorgeous. And it does look small, but again, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I do have reviews of all these bags on my channel. Um, I do use it for work sometimes, and it really does pack more than you would think. 
I did have to get used to kind of like looking down and checking where my thing's still there but it is it does close very well even though there's no snap button closure or anything um, and your things are quite secure because it's at the bottom and um, like I said it does naturally close um, quite well so it's not like it's lying open and like a big tote or something like that so that is the second one okay oh lean back a bit more there we go Oh, I think it was my first ever Michael Kors bag purchase. It was, and I got such a great saving on this baby. This is the Michael Kors graffiti line, and this is the, oh, is it the Rhea backpack? Oh, I should know. It's on my channel. <laughs> I'll have to like, look at it myself and remind myself. Uh, yeah, this was my first one. It was originally, I think it was originally like something like two, was it 250 down to... 155 I can't I can't remember but I got a really good saving on this and I couldn't pass it up it was the last one in the store it was a very uh it's a very hard to find line now you can get some of the bags and the small leather goods on eBay but it was very um it was very quick I do remember thinking that at the time that it was kind of in and out of the shops really really quickly um Michael Kors doesn't hang around when they release lines they kind of just do one and then move on a few months later to the next one. They're blind at the minute. I think it's all these neon colors. Um, it's pretty, but it's not my type of thing. So, um, but this one I just loved. Um, and it packs, packs a punch. There's a lot of room in there. I have got a review on this. Um, so I am because I, I keep going to waffle and I know to stop because that is not what you guys are here for. So yes, great bag and uh, fits a lot more than you would think it would. Um, I might go and do a backpack next. I've been wearing a lot of crossbodies recently. A lot of crossbodies and totes. So maybe I should pull this one out as my next one. I'll have to have a think. Okay, so that is the, I think it's, I think it's the rear backpack. It could be wrong. Um, okay. Oh, this one, this one, this one has still not been used yet. And it is the medium Manhattan satchel with the iridescent hardware, the neon contrast trim. And it was very, very expensive. It was £349, brand new. This line does not seem to be getting any cheaper. It's not in the sales or anything yet. So I'm just definitely glad I bought it at the time but I am still quite worried to use it but I will have to bite the bullet and use it because I do not want to buy a bag that just stays on the shelf it's an absolute waste of time so it's just there's every time I think of using it the weather here just pours down rain I know that it's you know black and it's you know not it, it doesn't have light colors like cream or white or anything like that but still you don't want to take a brand new bag out that's quite pricey and have it just be rained on all day. So I'm just trying to pick a nice uh, bright day when I can actually use this baby. So it is absolutely stunning. And now I see it in person. I'm like, oh, oh, I so want to use you. And the most beautiful strap on the inside, that contrast orange strap. Absolutely beautiful. Such a work of art. I probably, I probably do just see this as like an art piece, you know. Oh, just so different to what they normally do. Um, and I'm just very glad I have it. And I will, I will use you, I promise, one day. <laughs> right, okay. That is actually the empty guest dust bag for the guest bag that I am still using a month later. I really have to do something about that, I know. And now the last one. I know what this one is this was not a bag I originally wanted I actually wanted the Hamilton that was in like a the brown monogram and uh, it had like a maroon trim but when I bought it they told me that it was out of stock and did I want a refund or did I want to pick something else so um I picked this uh, baby and it's, uh, again it's like a work of art I've used it um just once 
uh, because the weather did turn. I remember the day that I used it and then the weather got really bad for a long time and I started using other things but I do need to pull this out again. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. So this is the Mercer Gallery and I think this is the medium size. Um, look at that. I absolutely think this bag is so Oh, it's again, it's, it is like a little work of art, all this beautiful rose gold hardware, which is so um, rare to see in bags, rose gold, like you obviously gold is the big one, then silver, but rose gold is such a, a rare, I really have not seen it done any other brand apart from Michael Kors, so um, they have done an, an awesome job, um, just trying to see if I can get the, the light. Let's see. There we go. Absolutely gorgeous. The little Mercer um, bag charm there. And it does have a strap on the inside. I'll sit back down. A little tripod here. Do not fall down. Please do not fall down. <laughs> okay, are we alright? Yeah, we're okay. And it has the strap with the rose gold continued there on the hardware. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Everything I'm pulling out, I'm like, oh my god, it's so pretty. And oh, so good. The smell of leather. So you've got two uh, outside compartments and one middle compartment, which is actually quite generous. It does look quite small. I thought that myself, but it is great. It has two slip pockets inside and then a big opening right down to the very bottom there very generous and again uh, would fit a lot more than you would initially think and what i liked about the gallery i really wanted to get a gallery i was actually going to get quite a boring color i was going to get the brown monogram with black trim um and i'm glad i didn't because it was quite uh, you know like you know bog standard seen it a million times before kind of michael kors bag you know whereas this is really unique and really beautiful but what i liked about the mercer gallery is because the mercer gallery had a zip and it also or sorry not a zip it had a um snap button closure so i felt a bit more secure and i wanted to try that out and it is a great wee bag it is be absolutely beautiful now i see it in person again i'm so torn over what <laughs> what i uh what my next bag move should be I really need to get out of that, ga that guest ba bag. It deserves a break, but it's very hard to move out of a bag when it works so well for your lifestyle. So guys, that is part two. That is the second shelf cleared, as you can see. Um, again, sorry that it did take me so long to come back to you. Like I said, uh, I've been so busy with the house. I've changed all the curtains in the house. Um, I've got new bedding, uh, trying to mow the lawn, keep the grass cut. Um, uh, collect all the the leaves uh, big, there's a tree in the garden and the leaves and uh the grass just uh, all this nearly every day you have to fix it up a bit so um but i'm finally like today and the last couple of days i'm like i think that's like everything that i need to buy um for the house kind of done now so i'm really starting to just enjoy this was the last purchase today uh, that I really could not wait to receive and I'm so glad I've got it like I said it's absolutely beautiful it's so comfy guys if you guys are in the UK and you're interested this uh, chair is from very very.co.uk and it's 150 153 pounds sorry I'm trying to there we go so it's 153 pounds and the delivery driver I had today was so lovely uh, i've had really rude uh, delivery drivers since i moved in here who brought um who brought the sofas and my bed frame they were unbelievably rude uh, their company is called roxl if you find out that they're your courier cancel your order believe me um they were really really rude um couldn't have given a, a, a crap about my items they were just banging them off the wall and I, anyway not going to get into it i'm going to get angry again i had a washing machine uh, delivered he was a man of few words but i mean it was only into the garage so it didn't really bother me so i just thought oh today when i heard saw the van outside and i was like here we go another guy who's going to just grunt at you 
he said hello he introduced himself um he offered to help me bring the chair up the stairs he didn't need to do that that is not in their um delivery policy whatsoever um but he offered and i thought that was very very uh a very for a very nice of him a very friendly guy and um uh, makes kind of getting this a lot uh, you know just a really nice experience so i'm glad that's like the the last big main delivery that needs to be done to the house and at least i got a very nice um i had a very nice experience to round that off so uh, again guys sorry about the delay i will try and not uh, make it as long uh, next time and um i will come back to you with part three which is a bit of everything from what i can see yeah, it's a bit of a mixed bag park <laughs> mixed bag haha <laughs> okay you guys thank you very much for watching i uh, really appreciate it and i hope you all have a great weekend i'll speak to you hopefully very very soon okay Mwah. bye guys